In this video, we will look at the results section, including what sort of statistics are found in journal papers and how they are presented. This is part 5 in the Navigating Statistics and Research series. The results section presents most of what is found by the study. It is written in a minimal and direct format. A reader that wants to understand the details of the findings, particularly if they want to independently assess their validity, should read the results section. When statistical results are presented, they can be found within either the main text or within tables or in a graphical form. It is considered good form to present any single piece of information only once in a report. The first part of the results section presents information about the data collections using a catch-all designation called descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics are a statistical summary of the data. They may include information about both population and sample statistics, and information about each variable considered in the study. The specific details that may be presented include central tendency statistics, such as mean, median and mode, some measures of spread, and perhaps some measures indicating the shape and features of the distribution model of the variable. For categorical variables, proportions and percentages may also be presented. When studies use sampling, the sizes of the samples are particularly important. They are critical for calculating the error of the models and sometimes can determine which analysis method should be used. Estimates of spread are particularly important statistical concepts as they reveal the changeable nature of any measured variable. Statistical indicators that measure spread include range, standard deviation, standard error, variance, percentiles and quartiles. Of these measures, the most commonly reported is standard deviation. Finally, Statistics that describe divergence from the expected distribution may be reported, including measures such as skewness and kurtosis. Skewness measures how biased the sample is to one side or the other. Kurtosis measures how flat or peaked the sample is. In exploratory analysis, we are looking for relationships between variables that may indicate cause and effect. Correlation factors can be used to show these relationships. Correlation matrices are triangular tables which explore many such relationships in a compact form. Tables and graphs are the most typical method used for conveying statistical information. Their purpose is to present large amounts of information in a compact form. The following points are usually found in most journals. 1. Tables and graphs are introduced within the text prior to their position in the article. 2. Graphs and tables have captions that begin with the figure number and then describe the information contained in it. 3. The captions for tables are located above the table. 4. Captions for graphs are located below the graphs. The two most common graphs found in research are bar graphs and scatter plots. Research reports rarely use pie graphs as other graphs can convey the same information with greater efficiency. The interpretation of the findings are presented in the discussion. The authors are focused on exploring the consequences of the findings, or examining how they fit the context developed in the introduction, literature and theory sections. Since the goal of the research was to answer the research question, a major issue to consider is whether the results actually have answered it. In an exploratory report, the focus is typically about finding a range of possible variables and influences on the main topic. Guidance is often given during the discussion on where follow-up research could explore new ground or which variables can form the focus of new research possibilities and questions. A researcher may consider that this is the most interesting section of the article and often readers skip ahead to this section. However, a critical reader would be cognizant of the limits inherent in the evidence and analysis presented. So a good habit is to check the claims made in the discussion against the presented evidence to verify the accuracy of the claims and interpretation. This is the end of the fifth video in the Navigating Statistics and Research series.